I am Felipe Cruz. I'm born and bred in the Galapagos Islands. I have lived all my life there, with the exception of the years that I went out to study. I work for the Charles Darwin Foundation. I'm the director of technical assistance. And the Galapagos Island is a unique place. No, like no, nothing you can't compare with anything. It's really a treasure for the world and hopefully for many, many more generations to come. The Galapagos Islands are facing many challenges, mostly due to us human beings. And all of them has to do with that, as it was in the past. When Charles Darwin visited the islands in 1835, the world believed that the Galapagos Islands would not survive, to the point that in 1905, 1906, the California Academy of Science expedition went to the Galapagos Island to collect as many specimens as possible in order to save for future generations in collection rooms. We, in the last 50 years, have been able to revert that trend. And we have proven to the world that actually the Galapagos Islands are in a better status of conservation than 100 years ago. That is wonderful. That is brilliant, what we have been able to achieve. We are extremely proud. The world should be proud of what we have been able to do. The problem is that regardless of what we do in the Galapagos Islands to keep that beautiful nature for future generations, if the rest of the world do not work towards solving the world problems on global warming, climate change, we are also going to suffer. And at the moment, we are starting to get the first scientific data that global warming is affecting uh, the coral heads, for example, in the Galapagos Islands, and more than likely many other uh, changes will happen if we don't revert the trends that are at the moment happening in the world. The urgency of the problems that we're facing is that the Galapagos Islands have been settled by humans since the 1800s. It's a very short period of time but the impact that we have had is huge. So if we don't act quickly, the problems are going to escalate like a snowball. And small places like Galapagos don't have the luxury of being big, and therefore the impacts are, take place in a very short period of time. We don't have much time to waste. My fears for the future is that we will not do enough in order to live for my son and for the future generations, the Galapagos Islands as they are. That is in a nutshell, and I think that somehow summarizes what the world should be fearing as well. What are we going to leave for the future generations? What we hope for the future is that the world will start behaving as one team. Every single individual in this planet needs to realize that whatever we do or don't do impacts not only his own, her own life, but also somebody else's life somewhere else. I hope that the climate change talks in Copenhagen in December will achieve realistic targets that the world will agree to, not, not something unrealistic because then nothing will happen, as it was the case with the last uh, convention, that some countries didn't even sign it. So hopefully this time the world is more mature, more aware of the importance of reaching some sort of agreement in what do we want to achieve and work toward that. I hope that a short win will give the confidence to the world to continue working on this. Mm -hmm.